Oh, hey, what's up, muscle and strength? Come on inside, I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating. I do 20 minutes. If I do any more, I just shrivel away and turn into nothing. <laughs> 20 minutes might be too much for me, but I don't even have to go that hard. I, I lose weight really easily. But uh, I'm gonna do this, and then I actually have a cardio ADHD, so I hop from this to machine to machine and just uh, keep tracking my heart rate here. Day. Average heart rate's around 139 beats per minute. Or that's my max, rather. <laughs> but yeah, you see, there's my chart. Doesn't really matter what I'm on, as long as all my muscle groups kind of get rotated in a way, and none of them get beat up in particular, and I have some fun. All right, let's eat. Well, this is a high day, so thankfully you guys are filming me when I'm gonna actually be able to eat. My pot filler. Nice. It's cool, isn't it? Look at that. You isn't ever it? Fill pots with this? No, this is not fill this coffee. Just for coffee pot. Watch this, watch this. I mean, come on. Like, dude, everyone needs to put a pot filler in their kitchen above where they have their coffee maker. Alright guys, meal one. One egg, 120 grams of cream of rice, one small box of raisins, which is about 30 or 40 grams, two scoops of high quality protein powder some vitamins. It's uh, almost 11 a.m. so by the time it's 11 a.m. I'll be eating this meal. Uh, it is seven ounces of white fish so cod from Trifecta has been working really well for me. 400 grams of cooked sushi rice, a cup of spinach, a cup of pickles, one cup of raspberries, and uh, some miscellaneous spicy vegetables. There's a jalapeno in there. Oh my gosh, high days are a gift. What are you doing? I'm about to uh, go destroy a lawnmower for Instagram 12 days out. Let's go. Ah! Imagine you're, uh, you're being suffocated with a plastic bag on your head and you're dancing around with a lawnmower in your hand, blindfolded. Almost one, and we are getting ready to work out. So, we're gonna fill this up with some water here, and we're gonna throw in a bunch of supplements. Pre, intra, and post. So I kind of do it all in one. So instead of making making three different shakes, which is pain in the ass, uh, I'll just throw it all in one and just kind of meter it throughout the workout. So um, let's start with this carb formula from HD. 
And uh, you can use my promo code, Juji, to save 10% on anything from HD Muscle. But I'll do two scoops of that. That's 50 grams of very high quality carbs. Now during the off season, I was doing twice as much as that, like 100 grams per workout. So when he reduced me to, Dorian, my coach, Dorian Hamilton, reduced me to 50, I thought it was crazy at first, but then everything got reduced, so. Clearly you're very, like, you love training. So are you like, even during this dieting time, are you like thoroughly looking forward to this every day? No, not every day. <laughs> Some days I'm really tired. Uh, but the thing is, if I couldn't train, I'd have a really big problem. Right, that would make me very unhappy. But uh, most of the time, I, I'll enjoy it. It definitely makes me feel better. I like experimenting. Here, I want to show you something. Come over here real quick. This is my primary source of income. They're the programs I write. So here's a nice little spread. Um, they obviously look like comic books, but they're all available in digital and spiral print. But every one of these programs was basically something that I created for myself, for my own training needs. And then I adapted it as uh, a program that I could you know, share with other people. So, I mean, obviously if you made it for yourself, you're gonna put the quality into it, you know, because the my latest one, this one just came out, it's called Let's Grow Some Muscle. These are the workouts I've been doing for the past six months to prepare for this competition. So I did this when I was before calorie restriction and even after. So the shoulder wor wor workout we're gonna be doing today is actually from this book. So, I mean, I made these for myself. I tweaked them over time, over months, and then they just became my go-tos. So this is what we're gonna be doing today is one of the routines from my newest program. Push your head through. Okay, yeah. so head. Head th yeah, just, yeah, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Nice! <laughs> I'm gonna step back, step back, step back there. When I post anything about my physique updates, number one comment, better do a backflip on stage. Better do a backflip on stage. Almost all the comments are about me doing a backflip on stage. So they're obsessed. So I gotta do a backflip on stage. All right, so this is meal three on a high day, which is very simple. It's one of my simplest meals. We have 150 grams of cream of rice. This is the rice and grinds, as well as two scoops of the Pro HD protein powder. So, you know, it's a pretty simple shake, you know. That's it, ice water, there we go. I am most hungry between five and seven. Morning or night? Night. That's the worst time of day for me. So I should not be around you then? You'll be all right. I'll try not to move much, because uh, uh, that's when I notice, um, that's why I keep a step counter again. I keep track of my steps. If I'm getting, uh, if I'm really high on steps or I'm getting too many steps during that time of day, that's when I really screw up. <laughs> I start to feel really bad. So I just try to conserve my energy during five to 7 p.m. Yeah, this is a, a drum of rice and grinds. So I've been living off this since uh, spring. And uh, as you can tell, I'm able to pick it up rather easily after the shoulder workout we did, which means I've been going through it. So, yeah. If you guys watch the gym tour video, would you ever leave this room? It's pretty nice, especially when all your friends come over and stuff. You got Instacart coming in, you got your trifecta meals. Like, why do I need to leave, you know? I know why we need to leave. I need to show you my cat, but to get to my cat, we gotta walk across my property. So let's go this way. 
across the little uh, troll bridge here. So this is a three acre lot. And when I bought it, I bought it with the intention of building. So if you want to go ahead and look behind you real quick, man, none of that was there. It was just a bunch of grass that was like head high. Like grass came up to here. It was just unmowed, unkempt. So when we moved in, this barn was already built. And uh, the woman that used to uh, live here did sculptures. So this is like her sculpture studio. And uh, this room is pretty messy right now because this is where I worked out in for a good year and a half before I uh, moved to the new gym. So it's a mess. I'm gonna renovate it in about a year, turn it into more of a strongman gym, just make it a little nicer, but still kind of keep the grungy feel. So it's still gonna be kind of like this unkempt, dirty room, but it needs a little bit of work. But yeah, this is still uh, 900 square feet, uh, which is great for training. And yeah, it, it served its purpose for a while before I moved down there. But yeah, we uh, a couple things that are really cool out here. This is a 100 foot walkway. And the reason I got that built was because I wanted to do uh, carrying exercises, some training out in the sunlight. I got the giant swing set with the hanging rings over there. And uh, yeah, I got an in-ground trampoline. Me and my dad built this. So uh, if you fill it up with ice, it's kind of like a big Yeti for your body. So it retains ice pretty well. So you can dump a few bags of ice in there and it'll stay cold for like a day and a half, two days. So it's, it's still pretty cool in there, but I'll do hot cold and sometimes just cold. So I got a, a cheap hot tub over there and I get the cold bath me and my dad built. Do some uh, hot cold, you know, kind of like Thor Bjornsson turned me onto that. Come here guys. So this one, his name is Jim Cat and that one's name is Sputnik. So Sputnik is the house cat, and this is the indoor-outdoor cat. This guy, his kill count is way above a thousand. We do not have any problems with mice because of him. He is a yard dragon. This is one of the best parts of the house. The woman uh, that moved out of here had renovated the kitchen as like one of the last things. So it's just, it's an incredible kitchen. Uh, it's a galley style. It just works really well. So I'm telling you, man, if you're into bodybuilding or uh, high performance sport or any sport where you have to eat a lot of food, dude, like equip your kitchen, get a good kitchen, uh, renovate your kitchen. Just go on Amazon, buy kitchen stuff <laughs> in your downtime. I don't know because if you have a good functional kitchen, it'll make your life so much easier. All right, this is meal four. 300 grams of rice split between rice cakes and cooked sushi rice, seven ounces of cod, and some mixed vegetables between the sprouts I grow in my sink, a handful of raw spinach, and just a smidge of sauerkraut. For taste, I got pepper, and uh, just plain old mustard. So, there we go. But in order to make sprouts, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna take a second and get with this jar. A little mesh lid, right? And all you're gonna do is, here's some sprouting seed. It's so cheap, it's practically free. You know, you just pour some in there. She doesn't take very much, that'll, that'll explode. Now watch, you just fill it with water. Done, that's it, all right. I'm gonna let it sit here. And then I'm just gonna water it twice a day like a plant. Dump it, rinse it, drain it. Let it drain in these little things right here. In the sink, these little angle things, see? And then they turn into this. Super nutritious, low FODMAP, fun, cheap, always there, fresh. I mean, what are the drawbacks? What are the drawbacks? So I started preparing my own meals, right? Because, you know, my family cooked a certain way and I knew I wanted to eat a certain way to be the athlete I wanted to be. So I was like, no, I gotta cook my, my own stuff. So I've been cooking my own meals since I was like 16, you know? My parents would cook their food and for my siblings and I'd cook my own food. It's just what you gotta do. You just gotta cook yourself. So you learn to do it yourself and then you learn tricks to save time. You know, when your responsibilities increase as you become adult, meal prepping is very important. So I'm very good at batch meal prepping too. So, 
I can do both. I can meal prep like a pro on a grill or, you know, and batch stuff, or I just have it shipped to me and shows up in my fridge like this. All right, you see me smiling? You see me smiling, right? Because look how pretty this is. Look at this spread. Look, I got a salad I made. I got six ounces of salmon, 540 grams of red potato. And here, I'm gonna start this meal with some vitamins from, uh, you got your kidney and your uh, vitamin formula. But over here, watch here, huh? What that is, is cranberry juice, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. And you put it in a little shot glass like that, and you slam it right before you eat your meal, and it helps prime your digestive system. This is good to do like on your second to last, your last meal of the day. So I've been doing that for over a year now, and I love that little trick. Other than that, this is the base of the meal. Of course I got, you know, this is a pretty little vegetable salad, but it's mostly just some spinach, some sprouts, some jalapenos, Three colored peppers, because those have calories, I gotta kinda like, you know, just not overdo them. A pickle, some chive. The, the soy sauce is gluten-free, not as many calories in that, so. Still here, okay. Um, you guys want some coffee? It's uh, around 9.30, this is around my last meal. I'm gonna have a whole pot of coffee. This is meal six, so that's it, no calories. I'm just messing with you. This is actually decaf, so uh, I do have some decaf coffee. Uh, a lot of people were strongly opinionated that decaf coffee is gross, but at this point, <laughs> I mean, everything tastes good, so. Definitely a fan of the decaf coffee. And uh, I do have my last meal set over here. Unfortunately, I don't have an eating utensil because I ate those, I was so hungry. So I can eat this with my hands. This is 440 grams of sweet potato, which is equivalent to 300 grams of cooked sushi rice. Again, same number of uh, carbs, every meal a day almost. And then uh, six ounces of a lean red meat. And I've chosen elk, it's what I've been eating. It's from Trifecta, so six ounces of cooked elk meat. And that's it, this one's very simple. Uh, no vegetables with this one, I just kinda keep it plain and push it back closer to bedtime so I'm not super hungry right before I go to bed. And yeah, so. All right, muscle and strength. That was my full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below anything that you think of that's just, you know, it just comes to your head. It's nice.